everybody. My name is Inga and I was working as senior cabin attendant for seven years. Today I would like to speak about the cabin attendant's purpose on board. You will be surprised, but we are there not only for bringing you coffee or sandwich, we are there for your safety. I would like to speak about the most dangerous thing that can happen uh, in the aircraft is a fire on board. How do you think what is the most common place in the aircraft where the fire starts? So this place is a lavatory, the area behind the door. That's why the cabin crew can't monitor that area all the time. It can happen because of electrical fires behind the panels, but mostly all the time it happens because of no patience. Passengers can wait for the smoking areas in airport. Now I would like to speak about the most important equipment that should be used on board to fight a fire. The fire gloves, they made from the insulating material, and this is a very good protection from the heat. The fire axe, we can use it for level off the panel to find a source of fire. The handle of the axe made also from the insulating material and it can protect us from the electrical shock. The fire axe also can be usable for the survival when we need to get out if we're stuck in the airplane. This is a fire extinguisher. They can be different types. The main thing about them but they are usable for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. It does not leave a spot. This is very important when the crew need to use it in a flight deck. However, it is very toxic. To protect us from the toxic smoke, fire and the heat, we use a protective briefing equipment, PBE. They also can be different types. This is named as a dragger. Inside there is a generator which produces the oxygen. There are also the vent flap which removes the humid from inside when we breathe. And generator proceeds oxygen for 20 minutes. Always remember that cabin crew especially trained how to use the old equipment. And they always have a practical training with real fire in the fire rooms like this. In case of fire and smoke on board, how passengers can help us. So please, just stay calm, keep yourself as low as possible, and also if there is a possibility to wet your clothes and breathe through it. Thank you for your attention and have a safe flight.